I'm not 100% sure. I mean, every, every, every time it happens so fast, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Aaron from the Kilby Life bringing you another Kilby Life video. I'm out driving down the road. Yes, I'm filming safely. I got the camera over here. <laughs> Don't worry, being safe. I mean, you probably weren't worried. Headed out today to do some deer hunting. I actually went out last night and sat in a tree stand for four hours and yeah, that was uh interesting i uh saw nothing <laughs> until i left which is usually how it works but yeah i sat out there it was gorgeous and it was just a nice time to get some rest and to recuperate it got a little boring there and it got a little cold at the end it's been unseasonably cold uh, for ohio it's my truck says it's 64 degrees right now but yeah it's uh, the end of september and I just am going out trying to get this done. I got into hunting when I was 39 years old, so this is my fifth year. Went out the first year and a buddy who was out helping me out, uh, helped me, was teaching me how to hunt. Uh, we went on some private property and sat and uh, I, got, I got one and that was cool. Um, very emotional, taking the life of an animal for the first time. I mean, I shot some birds when I was a kid, but pretty sure I didn't have a brain then either. And then the next year I was out hunting solo most of the time and got zero deer. And I went out a lot and I learned a lot. And the next year I found a place and I was able to harvest two deer. And last year I was also able to harvest two deer. So yeah, I'm excited. I would like to get three this year. That's my goal, three, and then I'll call it. Like this time of year, no one's even out doing anything really, which is nice, but yeah, I'm gonna go set up in a place and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film or if this video will ever make the light of day. So if you see me saying anything after this, you know I got one. So I made it out here and uh, I'm all set up in this tree and yeah, it's very windy. This, this tree's a little sketchy, but the way that the wind is blowing, I didn't want to get right back on the edge. There's a couple other trees I like to set up in, but I saw this one, I was like, do you know what? That's gonna be that one. Because yesterday, when I was out at the other place, I came over here and they were eating down here. So they are walking down this path and eating some of this grass. Now that being said, they may never walk down this path and eat that grass ever again, but you never know. At least I'm out here where I can see a lot. You know, I got a couple hours to sit here and I forgot my phone in the truck, so probably a blessing. But I'll be able to see a lot out here. And as long as no one comes out here and messes everything up. <laughs> if I see someone park over here and try to get out, I'll start waving. I got here first, man. Oh, did I ever say I really hate heights? Yeah, I can't stand them. 
I'm tethered to this tree, but what happens if the tree falls? So I'm sitting in this tree and the deer starts walking towards me and the camera shuts off and you can see down here in the corner, this is where I shot the deer at. Very close shot, about 15 yards, maybe 10. I hope I got her. I hope I got her. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, every, every, every time it happens so fast, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Not to be weird, but yeah, it smells like meat. <laughs> I, I uh, got one last year and it, uh, my arrow opened up in the air and it went back and it hit it in the back and it uh, smelled like poop. So, so I'm gonna leave the arrow here because it's lit up and then I'm gonna have to try to find this thing. All right, well, yeah. I'm not sure on the shot on that deer, when I shot it, it kind of hunched up and it might have been further back than I was expecting. I thought it was a good shot, but these things happen so fast that it's hard to tell in the moment. And usually, you know, from what I've heard, that if they hunch up, that's kind of a gut shot. So I was, or it might have been far back, you know, a little bit. So I was following the blood trail and I heard it moving. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go in the morning. I'm gonna get up and get out there at first light and try to retrieve this deer because it's a fatal shot. I just always prefer being quick and ethical because I hate things going to waste. I'm hoping the coyotes don't get her. But yeah, that was that was crazy. I hope I got that on film. What can I say about it other than I hope she's not suffering. I don't like animals to suffer. Needlessly. I would have it would have been nice to kind of retrieve her right off the bat so you don't have the worry that's involved in it. Hunting is not easy. And it kind of, I want to say kind of, it changes you. I mean, I've met some hunters that were just, <laughs> just complete lawless people. But I, I kind of try to look at it as a righteous endeavor and something that's bringing me closer to my food. I mean, this is grass fed, grass finished. And fortunately, 
it's not that cold out. I mean, it's not that hot out for the end of September. This is early in the season and sometimes it's hot and I was like, I, I know they're gonna be out because it's cool. And they were out walking around for like two hours and then a bigger one came out. And wouldn't you know, the random tree that I was like, I just, my gut told me, sit up in that tree. And then they were way off on the other side for hours and I was like, man, uh, you know, sometimes your gut doesn't know what the heck it's talking about. And then, and then what do you know, it walked right at me. And when I say gut, you know, I try to prayerfully choose these things and it's so hard to make the decisions. I'm waffling around, like, should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do this? And so what I did is I looked around, I tried to assess every piece of evidence that I had, you know, from this is my fifth year's experience. Uh, some of the intel from last night because they were going down this other path. And they came out in a different place than I expected. And I thought I made the wrong choice, but then it worked out this time. So was it God ordained? Obviously. Was it God ordained that the shot was back? <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a deep the, theologi a deep theological question. I mean, at this point, you know, God God sees everything, so I'm not going to answer that question. You think about it. You tell me what you think the answer is. Some people will be like, oh, you're hunting, it hurts animals. Yes, hunting hurts animals, but also going to the grocery store and buying meat. That has hurt an animal also. Man, taking life should not be easy. Consuming meat without any remorse is, in my opinion, something that is... I would just say it this way, you're missing something if you never felt any remorse for the meat you're eating. And I'm not saying you should just be sad and cry every day, but you should be thankful for it. I say that all the time. That being said, my family isn't out shooting deer. <laughs> I'm just doing it. So I'm providing that to them and and they might not have as deep as a connection as I did because of being the one that shot it. And this is all hoping that I retrieve this thing. This this video could take a turn for the worse and be like I did not get it. I hope I do. I hope I do. It's sad if I don't, but nothing goes to waste. There's a whole, there's a whole animal kingdom and micro world out there that is hungry. But yeah, my family isn't gonna feel the same remorse as me. So it's kind of like going to the grocery store, a little bit closer. But I, I don't want everyone to feel bad all the time. I just want people to consider it. I, I think God made the act of killing an animal for food, emotional and spiritual and something that could make you mourn on purpose. Something had to die for you to live if you eat meat. Even if you don't eat meat, things are still dying. <laughs> Yeah, I, I say that all the time, but I really think that way. Man. I'm very thankful for God. I get up in those trees and I try to be prayerful. 
But I'm like, God, if it's your will, bring bring it. If not, you know, and and I want everything perfect. This is not perfect, but it is something that happens if you're going to be a hunter. I've been able to retrieve every deer. I've had a couple had a couple tough ones. One definitely a tough one last year. And I searched for that thing for over 3 hours. Wore myself out, but I'm going to get up as early as I can. Hopefully go retrieve this thing. Maybe take at least one of my kids with me. And then we'll see what time it is, but I still have to go to work. <laughs> shut off after, when I was taking the shot on that deer and I thought the shot was good and I thought I would just find a deer today but I didn't. This is the first deer I've, I'm not going to be able to recover and it really breaks my heart because I don't like wasting stuff. I don't like killing some animal potentially you know best maybe it'll live. They're hardy. We just met some guy that said that he's he shot deers over the years that like had broadheads in through their skulls and in their mouths and still lived and it's just craziness. But first time for me, so I'm disappointed, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I want to make sure if I get another opportunity, I just I just try to make sure it's good shots, even though I I swear that was a good shot, but obviously something must have happened in the moment. I am very disappointed, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, I could, my mind starts reeling like, okay, what, uh, I should have did this, I should have did this, I should have did this, okay. Well, I can't change any of that, but I can change the future. So I hope it makes me a better hunter in the future. Um, that's all that I'm really hoping. I start reeling like, it's okay, like, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm gonna pass probably five dead deer on the side of the road on the way home. Like, bad things happen to deer. But when it's you doing it, it really, it really hurts your heart. So, I wanna say thank you for everyone that watches these Kilby Light videos. I know this hunting video is different than some of my other videos, but yeah. I mean, I have a hunting playlist. I hunt for, you know, maybe two months a year. <laughs> so this is, uh, 
the hunting video that went wrong. Kill me out.